piece on our solution is there, but it's a little obscure. So I found the better one, which is in the end of time, fulfilling of the prophecies. Right. And um, verse three and the last sentence says that every nation shall and must worship under their own vine and fig tree and return to their own and be one with their father God alive. All right. That's the solution, which is actually in the beginning where it says there is no one who was able to change man, excuse me, in the, in the previous right chapter, verse number the 11, where we started. It says there is no one who was able to change man from the decent nature of his forefathers unless his power extends beyond the great universal creator, Allah himself. That not only tells you what's going on, the problem and the solution to peace on earth. And the reason is, is because people are playing a particular game and, and this particular game has caused the destruction that we now see. All right. It's because people are not in their binding, not among, in their binding fig tree, not honoring their forefathers, which is a whole lot. So let's go back and look a little bit of that. It says through sin and disobedience and number 16, in uh, chapter number uh, 40, 47, through sin and disobedience. All right, so what is the sin here? What is the disobedience? Every nation has suffered slavery. All right, so it gives, it goes on to tell what our sin was and pretty much what every other nation, why they suffered slavery. And so we can still see this going on today because whether you believe it or not, the world is still under a particular form of slavery. No one's, no one, even the person who thinks they're uh, pushing or you would call the slave masters free, that person ain't free. This particular system bound everybody. This particular system is the end game system. And it, ha <laughs> this is, this is something else. So check it out. So let's go back to white supremacy. Let's go back to the understanding of this from, from our holy book and the laws in which was given to us. And let's look at the solution. But first, look at, let's look at the overall understanding of what white supremacy really is. Not what they're saying or what people are trying to push. Because both sides, black and white, are once are, is two sides of the same coin. And the day you realize this, is the day that you can give the cure. All right, so white supremacy. All right, so what is it, right? It's a part of the sin today. It's a part of the sin. And what goes with that? A, you know, it, it may not look like it's a black supremacy, but it really is. But you got to just look at it from a different point of view here. Let's look at it. All right, so in are what people are calling white supremacy is actually known as, if you want to get a pen or a few things and take a few notes, it'll be pretty good, right? But anyway, what people are calling white supremacy mores, who are scientists and who, who look at, the, uh, who analyze things and don't just jump off any old cliff because man knows not by being told. So we have to break it down and see the relationships. So what white supremacy really is, right, is social classism. All right, and let's really look at this because without a proper definition, you won't know how to combat a thing nor help anyone out of a thing. You become the living example, right? But sometimes when the wordplay goes somewhere, people think the game changes. No, it don't. It's the exact same thing that's been happening since the very beginning. And it's social classism, which is the sin because to play this game, you got to leave a thing to listen. So social classism, right, demands two things. There demands a upper, a, the highest upper class, right, or the upper class and the lowest class. We'll get to the middle class in a second. But if you don't understand these dynamics, which you have been flung into, then it's hard to really understand what's going on, 
right? And so you don't get caught up in emotional heart pulling things because they show you brothers and sisters getting beaten, written by dogs and all that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to move you to get, uh, to motivate you to understand what's going on so that you don't end up in a particular situation except you and your family, right? And then demand and, you know, demand that things are, are equally enforced for you and your people and then help your brother out of the situation we can. But anyway, back to white supremacy. So white supremacy is actually social classism and it has to have two functioning things. It has to have the upper class and the lowest class. So in today's society, in this social class construct, white is known as the, uh, uh, the upper class. Black is known as the lower class because we know if you right now at home somewhere, Somebody go get a white piece of paper. Right? And if you happen to be a, 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 a European descent, or somebody like that, you tell them to put that white piece of paper up to their skin. And then if somebody black is talking, you're talking to somebody who believes they black under these mental defects of character, you tell them to put this black iPhone up, up next to their skin. What about that black jacket you got on? And why is it, you know, you can have the term people call themselves black and in the same sentence be like, oh, man, you have a black heart, and which means dark. You know what I mean? I, I feel like people like Tucker Carlson, dude, you're black because you got a black heart. Now what? Did I, did I call him a black person? In actuality, I did. He gained. But anyway, we're not trying to go there. Right? But listen to it. You got to get this simple thing. A six-year-old child can understand this. You tell that little baby, baby, put, put, put the white piece of paper up in there until you can. Get your European child to believe, you know, and the parents believe they white. And get some children, like a little baby boy, uh, that looks, you know, but put that up to your skin. Are you thinking black? No. Does that look like you? No. Okay. So we're not talking about a skin thing here. So don't let them push that on you. Because that's a part of the, that's a part of the deception. We are talking about something that goes a little bit more deeper than that. We're talking about a construct because it was just a skin thing. Well, you know what I'm saying? What about the mixed couples and everybody that got mixed up along the way? So it's not just a skin thing. So what we have here is a social dynamic, the higher and the upper. Now, to play this game, this social construct, or to play this system or to be a player in it is actually a play the game. So even when black people are screaming, oh, uh, we need more of this and we need more of that, and they're screaming black, they're still playing the game. You gotta remember that. They're playing the white supremacist game. Why do we call it white supremacy? Because white is at the highest upper class. It ain't got nothing to do with their intellect. It ain't got nothing to do with your ingenuity. This has nothing to do, but it, it has everything to do with the social order that is now manifested under the social classism. Once you have an upper class and the lowest class, and then you have people who come in to play the game. This is called the middle class. Mostly these are foreigners. The foreigner. No, and if you don't believe me, listen to what I'm telling you. So the, the, uh, the black people are the foolish in this scenario. The fool is the one who knows what's going on because it's very foolish to play this game. Excuse me, it's to be a fool to play this particular game. All right, so when in, in, in um, number 16, it says through sin and disobedience, every nation has suffered slavery. Why? Because the nationality was stripped away. What do you mean nationality? Political rights, your moral rights. You know, morality comes from your cultural uh, understanding. It comes from your family. It comes from your, uh, your religious base. So when you claim black, you, you lose morality. When you claim white, you lose morality. Ask, ask somebody who believes they're white. They knew that they were Irish. That means, listen to me. Please put your mics on mute, right? So if somebody got to listen to this, because this is how you get all your grants in. 
<laughs> this is how you get all the things in it we're looking for and everything else ties into business. But if you can't explain yourself and you can't get things moving, it, right? So the thing is, is right, white supremacy, all right? The definition of white supremacy actually is a social class system where the higher class, right, disenfranchises the lower class, right, to establish the social order. Right. And then it's reinforced through the middle class, which are usually foreigners who come in knowing their nationality, but still choose to put down black or white. You understand what I'm saying? And then what do they do? The first thing you got to do is enforce the social order. So what do most foreigners do? They come and they degrade the lowest class people. You ever peek that out? Why are all the stars, the, the so-called superstars who are foreigners, that you better go look at the majority of them are, they always play the pimp, they always play the gangster, they always play the hustler. They never play the up and coming more in the hood. They never play a uh, 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 super smart genius little uh, 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 brothers and sisters in the hood. No, they always play to degrade the social order. Why? So they, they can move up through the middle class because the middle class is only enforced if you play the game. How do you play the game? To ensure that there's an upper class and a lower class. What's the lowest class? Black. Therefore, if you're coming in as, say, a Jamaican, no offense to my Jamaican brothers, if you're coming in, uh, say, as an Irish, and then to become a real citizen under the social order of white, you must then enforce some degra degradatory thing to the lowest class to let the social order know I'm playing the game. Are you guys following me or is this way too much? Islam. All right. So, wow. Islam, Grand Governor, keep going. All right. So, so, when we understand the Negro, when, when the prophet Noble Juwali said in 17, that is why the nationality of the Moors was taken away. What does it mean to say nationality? Remember when I, I showed you guys before. Nationality means your allegiance. Nationality means your jurisdiction. Nationality thus then means your religion. Because you get your morals and values also protected. Your right to religion. The practice of religion comes from your nationality. Right, the right of your basic rights, which means human rights, come from your nationality. All of those things, when they were stripped away from you, and you were given, look what it says. Look what it says in 17. Look what it says in 17. It says, This is why the nationality of the Moors was taken away, and from and them in 1774, and the word Negro, black, and color was given. And remember, y'all, if something was given to you, you know you can give it back, right. Well, you ain't got to hold on being a nigga. You ain't got to hold on being broke, destitute. Every time you look up, there's a dang problem. Every time you look up, the Negro baby mama got something to say or the, the Negro baby daddy doing something stupid. Uh-uh. You take on your body big tree and there's a solution to everything. You take on your body big tree, there's a unity and a government there to enforce your rights like we got in Temple 43, such as your, such as your immunization card such as the, uh, the documents we give you to go through the particular court systems, and then which is the state in which you were labeled a second class citizen. See, how does that, how does the social order move legally? It moves you, labels you a second class citizen in a social class order. And where is the social second class citizen enforced? Under the 14th Amendment for those particular people that want to play that social class order, even for Europeans. To move into that requires them to let go of their freeman status, take on a white status, right, that has no standing in law. They remove themselves from the, their morality of their forefathers defining national fig, uh, a fig tree. There's no protection from God. They can't use the Bible like they think they can because they're playing the social order game. So here in the more scientific of America, Prophet Noble Jew Ali, the savior of humanity, said if you love Jesus, we'll come into the house of Jesus. This brings you back into what? Your divine victory. It brings you back into the social order. Of the, I mean, excuse me, a correct, um, uh, a lawful order back under God 
back under the protections. And guess what this does? It breaks white supremacy because no one's playing the game. You can only have white supremacy when somebody's playing the victim. If you take the victim away, there ain't no white supremacy. If you take the victimizer away, there is no white supremacy. The victimizer is there because he believes he gets a benefit. You understand? What's the benefit? Your ignorance. You think this is just how I go. No, it's not. Someone gave you something. You can, you can stand up and proclaim, I give that back. Thus, the reason why you're going through the status correction. And what else are you giving back? The non-moraliness of yourself. You're also giving back the ignorance where you know that is a social order they're playing under a, under a corporate construct that then when you come back under your political rights, it trumps it. It is literally, you behold five faces while they over there with a, uh, with a pair. You understand? You then be, are able to do what? Not only do you trump in your family, because when you bring back the morals and the father and the mother are adhering to them, letting the Quran be the mediator, then the child picks up on this. Now, their morality, which is conscious uh, 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 understanding, you know, uh, of the will of God, just for a simplified understanding, right? And then we're back up under these particular things. White supremacy is only there under a social class order. And when we understand that, we can take it away. We can take white supremacy away by doing, you know, we've been up in here uh, getting rid of the, the great sin uh, that Allah says must be removed from this land. So people get mad when I say, you know what, certain people got to be rounded up and re-educated. Why? Because under that social order, they become destructive on the planet. Why? Because they got no morals. So they go all the way to doing what? Raping children, making laws so they can have pedophilia. You understand? This is how demoralizing they get when they play that white game. Why? If you play the white and black game, then you can say a man can have some breasts or a woman can be a man. Why? Because those two constructs don't have any morality or tie back to God. They're figments of your imagination. There is no such thing as a black person. These are social classism constructs. They have no base in reality until everyone's participating in that reality. But it does not mean that it's real like that. Thus, the unreal can come. What is the unreal? The most debaucherized, unmoral things that haven't been seen before, like wanting to change uh, adrenochrome little black children's blood into some type of commodity so people can live longer. Huh? What kind of what the hell? How do we even get here? We got here because we've accepted being black. We've accepted the black way. They've accepted the white way. It's the same damn game. Because there's nothing wrong with being Irish. There is nothing wrong with being Chinese. There is nothing wrong with being Dutch, German. Nothing wrong with being uh, 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 Sadunese. Nothing wrong with being from the kingdom of Morocco. There's nothing wrong with being from the empire of Morocco known as a more chimera with the bay and ill to describe what? Your national heritage in your name. Just like O'Malley and McFerrin and Van Buren describes other nationality. But when you play the game of white supremacy, why we call it white supremacy? Not because of your skin. Because there's no supremacy or domination there. Your skin is not the thing dominating me. Your words are not really the thing dominating me. Other than that is, meaning the ignorance that I don't know. But your skin and my skin is not the thing dominating like that. It is the social order that's dominating. And when we understand that social order is white supremacy, <laughs> because it is at the highest uh, 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 classism game that has been played here to create the social order, and the lowest is black, because black is not a skin.
So stop with all this. We the blackest of the sky. It means the nah, my friend. Mm -hmm. I am made in the image and the likeness of my Jesus. father God Allah. They say that black. And you are not going to take me out of my my forefathers' national and divine creed. Which means also my moralities, the way I do my doctoring, the way we raise our children, the way we birth our, uh, uh, have our birth ceremonies. This goes into everything. Our rites of passage, the reason our national, the reason why the children are fearful and running uh, and running them up because they got fear in them. Which means they got no rites of passage anymore. There's no rites of passage to become a man. There's no rites of passage to become a woman. Therefore, the woman relies on any type of thing. You, you know what I'm saying? There's no, where's the definition of a woman? Of our definition. And where can we go look at the history of that to ensure that that definition is the right definition? Because we can't say black definition of a woman is correct because this, that can't even have a, a family. Can't say black man definition is correct because that man can't even maintain a family. You can only go back to your forefathers and find creed and then pick up those particular things that was lost, right? Which then brings the whole dynamic back and it ends not only white supremacy for the person who's calling himself white because he's putting himself in injustice because he can't live up to such a particular thing in today's reality. Let's look around, it's totally crumbling. You can't be superior when your whole society is falling apart and everything, and, and people are literally killing one another in the street, burning everything like down. Little children are being right every time you can see. Pedophilia is being legalized. This is crazy. And it, this is the white supremacist society. This is the so-called, oh, we was doing it good society. No, you weren't doing it good. You couldn't. Look where we're at. It's because they are playing a game, too. And it's a mental game that's destroying the, the, the mental part. Now, white supremacy, from what I just explained, of the social classism and how it functions deals with mind. The body part of it is called capitalism. We'll get to that another time. All right. So you participate in this, black people participate in white supremacy, whether they realize it or not. They can't help to participate when they defend being the lowest class. That we already broke that they can't be black, do the phone, or pick a black people, a shoe, put it next to your skin, and do the same thing with it. Come on now. So it's not a skin game. And this means this comes back to us again. This now comes back to us, how we function. Those who know this, those who have made the steps out of not only a failed black supremacy, but also a failed white supremacy. You got too many people screaming black this and black man, that's a black supremacy mindset in that, in that construct, because it can only go through black supremacy, just like it can only go through white supremacy, and either one won't work. So this goes back to us, how we have to be able to be the good example, right? How we have to stand up with our government, backing up all of our in unit, backing up each other's play, what like we're doing, right? And then standing up and telling people we got the solution. Our immigration stops child sex trafficking. You realize that? 